I am Mike, your chain-smoking, cheap-ass gamer. This is Ray Said Continue. I am fucking back. Um, and yes, I am rocking a Better Call Saul shirt, because if you are not watching that show, I don't know, turn off the reality TV. Turn it off. And turn on uh, Better Call Saul. Start watching some Breaking Bad. That show is absolutely amazing. And no, this video is not about Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad. I just had to throw that out there. Because I am enjoying myself with that show. Anyway, what I am going to talk about is women in video games. Specifically, badasses. And the lack of. Um, you know, I thoroughly enjoy a good badass female character. I think that, you know, the big bulky uh, heroes are kind of a... They aren't kind of, they are a dime a dozen. They're just everywhere. It's... You know, uh, I feel like even when it's a dull female character, it's still more exciting than a dull male character to me in video games. Um, like, I feel like Gears of War needs, like, one or two more female characters, even. Uh, you know, to me, like, like games like Bayonetta really, like, you know, uh, really were exciting and they were awesome. Uh, was it Wet? is another great game. Uh, Ruby is just a badass in that game. Like, she goes Quinn Tarantino style on her enemies. You know, uh, you got parkour type stuff. She's just run and gun. Uh, very brutal, brutal type shit she pulls in that game. Uh, cool acrobatics. I mean, it was just absolutely incredible. Uh, Resident Evil, Jill Valentine. Really cool badass, once again. Uh, and I'm going to cheat and take a look at the wall of video games. What else is a great uh, female character? Oh my god, there isn't many. <laughs> because they didn't make many. Um, but, oh, uh, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, no, Nobunaga's wife, uh, the Blood Queen. Absolutely incredible, incredible dark uh, uh, female character. I absolutely enjoy her uh, playing as her and her abilities. I, I'm a huge Dynasty Warrior fan to, uh, to just kind of throw that out there. But anyway, uh, and like, even when like I, I play like games where you create your own character, uh, like say, uh, what is it? Um, Saints Row. I always build a, a female character. Uh, actually, in the third one, I rocked this awesome tattooed biker badass. And, um, absolutely incredible stuff. Oh, another great game, uh, Good vs. Evil? Maybe not badass, but she's definitely cool. Uh, definitely check out that one, um, if you've never heard of it. I believe they HD'd it and put it on the Xbox Live market. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that game. It's kind of, it starts out as like kind of a kid's game, but goes into like a more adult theme. But, uh, yeah, like, female characters, it's just, you know, we don't get many of them. And, you know, with a rise of uh, female gamers out there, I mean, you're starting to see on YouTube, uh, there's more uh, women uh game reviewers and stuff like uh, Glitch Queen, uh, I do check out her site uh, quite a bit. She's got some incredible content on there. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I feel like we need to get more of that, you know, cool, badass, uh, you know, female characters in there. And I'm not even talking about, like, sex appeal. Like, Bayonetta definitely has sex appeal, but she's just badass like you know she's not she does not portray the the um that image of being the victim which almost all the time it's you know save the woman you know the damsel in distress type uh stories which all well and good i guess for whatever but i i think that we, with games like coming about and getting to this newer 
level of storytelling and that type of stuff. Uh, we need female characters like in uh, Last of Us and stuff like that um, to really start to come to the foreground and really start running the show a little bit because we aren't playing the same video games that we used to. You know, it's definitely not Nintendo anymore. It's definitely not PlayStation 1 anymore. We have gotten to a new plateau, new level, and story is a big, big factor. And, you know, for me, it's like, like, uh, you know, when you got a roster of characters, I usually do go with the females because the guys I've seen a billion times over. Like Mortal Kombat, you got a thousand and one ninjas and that type of stuff. But when you saw Sindel, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Sindel's kind of badass. <coughs> and, um, you know, I'd love to pull some more great, great uh, references. But, like I said, we are in a lacking type thing. I'm not even trying to do uh, equality of feminism or anything like that. You know, not even trying to make a social issue about this, which I think that too much, like, once you get into something like this, and I'm sure, like, if I start getting more viewers, you're, someone's going to chime in, and it's like, you know, it's like, feminism, blah, 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 women's rights, blah, blah. No, I just want a badass woman with a badass gun gunning down thousands and thousands and thousands of nasty, awesome crazy looking enemies. That's what I want. Why can't I have? <laughs> we are, we, we need this. I think that, um, you know, once we get like a great flagship, oh, Tomb Raider is another one. Uh, you know, I think that she kind of paved the way a little bit. Uh, and I do enjoy the new game. And I like the fact that they dummy down the sex appeal of her, strangely. Uh, not that I'm trying to be prude or whatever, but I do like the break of stereotypes. And, you know, I think that we need that flagship runner, uh, female character, just kind of break loose of everything and, you know, just like tear up the video game scene. Uh, like a female version of God of War would be an awesome idea. Um, you know, I think that Bayonetta, they kind of tried to do that, like do a, a female version of Dante. Uh, Rebecca from uh, Ninja Gaiden, I always kind of felt like they should have did her own uh, uh, story campaign or separate game. I thought that she was really awesome in the cutscenes. She turned to be a badass a lot of the time. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm... You know, like I said, not to make this equality thing a social issue or anything. That's another episode. And actually, no, it won't be. I don't want to tell that. Anyway, uh, what are some of your ideas? What do you think would uh, be a cool idea or a, a cool female take on something, you know, that has already been released? I mean, maybe you want to see a female version of Snake from uh, Metal Gear Solid. Who knows? Maybe that, you know, maybe, actually, that might be badass. No and bank, I'm copywriting. Bam! <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so anyway, to conclude this, I want to also kind of um, talk about uh, a little bit of the future of this uh, channel. Uh, I did have a lot of fun doing the UFO episode. I think that I'm going to be doing some more supernatural type stuff. Uh, comment me, you know, message me, uh, you know, give me ideas of what you want me to kind of, you know, uh, you know, do videos on. I'm a little lost on all this. Like, I have so many ideas. I'm very schizophrenic on it. And um, I don't know what you guys want to see, so tell me. Do you want more video games? Do you want some more music? Do you want some more uh, movie type stuff, pop culture reference, some more social commentary? Do you want uh, more of the, you know, mythical side of uh, things? Uh, you know, you tell me, you know, because um, you're watching my shit. <laughs> 
You're my viewers. Please tell me. Um, but regardless of uh, what you do pick, uh, I will be doing a little bit more. It's just I want some direction on what I should be focusing on because initially this started as a video game channel. Uh, no, I don't have any plug and watch type stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still on the bare bones. I gotta fix my computer and that type of stuff. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave on that. Uh, enjoy your day. I am about to leave here to go to work, and hopefully, I won't get snowed in to work again. But anyway, enjoy yourselves. Hopefully, you aren't snowed in like I am here in Dirty Jersey. Uh, love you all, and have a good day.